Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. Uh, Matthew Wilson, I believe that is your name, uh, wrote in saying uh, that they're having some problems recording in some soft synth sounds onto the SP404 Mark II and then playing them chromatically. And you have to know a couple things, uh, but let's just start with, we got a note. I want to play that chromatically. I'm on the MPC, I can play it. So I've currently got it set up as channel one. Now, if I want to play chromatically, and let's just check before I go do this. We'll just do it. Do, 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 do it. Um, go to MIDI. Currently on MIDI mode A, which means to address bank B, whoops, let's exit out. To address bank B, I got to be on MIDI channel two. So we go back to one for the moment. Go back to one so you can see it over on the SP404 Mark II. If I go into chromatic mode, of course, shift chromatic. I can play chromatically, but it's just playing the one note. If I want to play the this chromatic mode when I'm in it, I actually need to be in MIDI channel 16. So if you don't know that, yes, you need to be in channel MIDI channel 16 to use chromatic mode. Now, another thing is if you are in your system settings and you're on MIDI mode B, I believe it's still channel 16, but let's just check. So I have channel one, I can still play. Oh, we're on MIDI channel 16, sorry. So now we're, I think just because everything's shifted. There we go. Okay. So just everything shifted. So I just had to use a different um, MIDI note uh, assignment, but I can still come in and go shift pad four and we should really go to 16. Yeah, we're going to go up higher. So it does work. Just remember, you have to use uh, bank 16 or MIDI channel 16 to control your chromatic mode for whatever your last note is that you played chromatically. Um, another note is if you happen to want to select, like if you don't want to play this note and you want to select a different one, if I remember correctly, it's hold enter and you can hit pad five or six or whatever. And you can see it adjusting it. So now I can come in and go chromatic and play it chromatically without having to like play it. So this is like a, a little performance trick or tip to know, like if you're trying to play with a band or something and you wanted, you had a sample that you needed to get to, to play chromatically, but you didn't want the audience to hear you go like that. So you could select it, just hold down enter and whoops. Did I not do it? Oh, I gotta be, go back into chromatic mode. That's right. Sorry. So do that one more time. If you want to, it's going to remember whatever your last sample was when you exit chromatic mode. If you want to select a different one, you have to, you can silently play it by pushing in the enter button, hit pad six, for example, and then you have to go back into chromatic mode to load up the, the new sample. Anyway, guys, I hope that helps. Keep making music, keep having fun. Remember, if it sounds good, it is good. And peace.